What about property markets across this region? Well, some are dependent on population growth, others on tourism. So are investors putting their money in this part of the world? And is there profit to be made from property? That's a question I put to Nick McLean, head of CB Richard Ellis Middle East. There are opportunities within the market and it, it, within the GCC, uh, it divides itself into half, I think, those um, locations which are internationalized, Oman, the UAE, and probably Bahrain, and those which are relatively parochial markets, Saudi, uh, uh, Kuwait, and Qatar. And depending on the nature of your investment strategy, you can choose two different types of location. If you are an investor that's looking for secure income, there's only one location at the moment, and that's still the UAE. If you're an investor looking for development and therefore higher risk, then North Africa is very interesting at the moment. So which parts of this region are open for business? I mean, Dubai has been dropped from the name altogether, so the focus is on the wider region. The opportunities which exist in Egypt, perhaps further down the line, Libya, um, the Jordan market perhaps, I think are all quite interesting, but they're, above all, they're dependent on demand. So it's not gaps in the market, it's where the international corporates are going, which is driving business at the moment. Is it worth investing in any market in this region? Outside of the GCC, I would put Egypt as number one. For Arab investors, I'd put Saudi Arabia as their number one target, probably. Um, for non-Arab um, investors, uh, they're curious, they're looking at North Africa because of the underdevelopment in Libya, in Algeria, Tunisia, etc. We've seen quite a lot of movement into Morocco, but the rest of North Africa has the opportunity to catch up in terms of business flow over the next few years. That's where people are looking. Now, if you look at who's exhibiting here this year, it's mainly people who are affiliated to the government. Is there any point in this property show? Cityscape are going to be disappointed about the attendance and the exhibitors here this year. Um, I think there is a point in having it that uh, the property markets in particular are all about sentiment. Uh, I think if we're cautious and make the right kinds of noises to tell the world that actually Dubai has not closed shop, it's still open for business. Um, and if we work on, or if Cityscape works on the types of occupiers who are coming here rather than investors and developers, yes, there's a future for a show like this going forward. Nick McLean of CB Richard Ellis speaking to me earlier.